Transport Phenomena Module 1, Segment 4 Importance of Convection and Diffusion With me, Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung Length scales in biological systems range over 8 orders of magnitude as shown in this table. No single transport process can function efficiently over these length scales. At short distances, diffusion can be quite rapid. As distance increases, the diffusion time increases and becoming increasingly less efficient. In biological systems, convection typically transports molecules over distances for which diffusion is too slow. Because of the different length scales in biological systems, the relative importance of diffusion or convection varies with the specific situation. The significance of diffusion versus convection can be evaluated in two equivalent ways. One approach is to calculate the packlet number which represents the ratio of mass transport by convection to mass transport by diffusion as shown in equation 3. When the packlet number is much less than unity, diffusion is more rapid than convection. Conversely, when the packlet number is very large, Convection is the dominant mode of transport. For a fixed length scale and velocity, diffusion is most important for small molecules such as oxygen. Convection is essential to transport larger molecules such as proteins and cells. An alternative way of comparing the relative roles of diffusion and convection is to compare the time required for a molecule to be transported by each process. The packlet number is equivalent to computing the ratio of the diffusion time to the time for convection. The more efficient process is the one that takes the less time. For short distance, convection is slower than diffusion, whereas for longer distances, diffusion is slower than convection. You may want to check these videos in YouTube for a better visualization about transport phenomena. For the next module, we will discuss about conservation relation and momentum balances. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.